Want to do a quick unboxing video of this Crimson Trace CTS3 red dot sight. It's a red and green red dot sight. Came in from Midway about a week ago and didn't see too many videos on YouTube about it. So I was going to do a short unboxing. So as you can see, it comes just like this with this plastic Ziploc bag. It's got some styrofoam liner in there and it gives you the model, the specifications on the red dot itself, part number and all that good stuff. Opening it up, pop open that. First thing is going to be, looks like instructions, prints and trace, battery card removal, and get a little clean and patch in there. Throw that down. After that, you get styrofoam sheet, like a pocket. Open that guy up, and that's where your red dot's going to be. There. And another Ziploc baggie. There's a desk and bag in there too to keep all the moisture out. So that's nice. So it looks like it comes with just some bikini cover. Okay, so you're gonna pick this up here. Alright, so this will be on the left side of your firearm here. So this is the battery cover. Unscrew that guy. Feels like there's an O-ring on there. Just your typical CR 2032 three volt battery. You can see how the inside of that looks. I don't see an O-ring. Yeah, I don't see an O-ring anywhere on there. So maybe not the best for waterproof and that type of thing. Go ahead and throw that back on. So next, go over to the front of it. As you can see, that, that glass is pretty heavily mirrored on the front of the lens there. On this side, this will be the right side of the sight. Unscrew that guy. This will be your windage adjustment. Just the flathead screwdriver in there to adjust your windage. Set that down. Down the top. Same thing for your elevation. Then you have a G and an R for red and green. So go ahead and screw this guy. Same thing, it's gonna be a flat head to adjust elevation. Then you got your green and your red. So both solid presses on both those. This will be the back. Looking through there, you can see the red. It's supposed to be a four MOA red dot sight. I'll switch up to the green. There's going to be the green. Nice and crisp. As, I mean, it picks up pretty good in the camera. But you can definitely see the erector where the light's coming out of there on the left side. So it might be something to keep in mind if you're looking for something a little less distracting to your eye while you're looking through the site. Still no problems looking through with both eyes open, though. And you can switch from one or the other on the fly. You don't have to start, turn it off and then go to the next. Then just to shut it off. Hold it down. That's it. There's only one brightness setting. So that's as bright as it gets on red. That's as bright as it gets on green. For the bottom, Midway, the base here, Midway said it was a QD on their description. Or Crimson Trace said it was a QD on the description of the base. Definitely not a QD, just a two bolt Picatinny for your AR whatever carbine pistol you're gonna throw this on. Still not bad, it's definitely heavy duty. Um, solid, that's for sure. And it's also 100% co-witness, so that'll help. You got iron sights on there, extra backup. But other than that, unpacking that, it's pretty plain and simple. You can go through, see what's here in the manual, that type of stuff. So you got Allen key for the base, torque it down on your pick. Here's your little cleaner, battery remover prior to use. And then just a quick rundown on your instructions here. Nothing crazy, but I believe this is the same red dot that comes on the Smith & Wesson package with a Crimson Trace. Couldn't find much on Crimson Trace's website about this optic, so we're gonna do a quick little review on it. But I believe it's the same one from the research I've seen. 
Same one that comes on that MMP Sport 2 if you end up getting that kit. So, see how it runs, see how it turns out. Put it mounted on my, uh, well, I just happen to have a Smith & Wesson MMP Sport 2, so it'll be pretty much the same thing coming from them. Those are optics ready, but mine's got a, it's got irons on it already, so.